everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've waited out this video for hours because the construction has been so bad. I'm so sorry. If it's really loud, we're just gonna have to do it. Welcome to a spring outfits video. This video is gonna be pretty similar to my other like recreate my favorite Pinterest looks at the moment, spring edition, but I kind of tried to like categorize it a bit by like, trends or like concepts, prints, silhouettes, vibes that i'm liking for the spring and summer i don't want this you guys know me and my like thoughts on trends and things if you love it wear it obviously but i don't want my content to be like super trend focused because i don't want anybody to feel like they should filter their personal style through that or people need to keep up with certain things to like be fashionable or express themselves because that's never ever the case but i think this is a good way for me to express like things that i'm looking forward to wearing or that i'm like into right now without being like full-on trend forecaster like making you feel like you have to go out and shop i just want to talk about some things that i'm loving and some ways that i would style with the clothing that i already own drink of the day is this kombucha the health aid passion fruit tangerine one delicious first of all the shirt the shirt karen got me this he gave it to me on his birthday right i was like he was like first i have something for you i was like pause that's a crazy man right there i love this shirt this is actually outfit one because i literally i wanted to challenge myself to style this in an outfit that i would wear and like not just wear it with like comfies and stuff because i really do like this t-shirt it's very comfortable once i washed it and stuff the texture felt a lot better i also want to share I'm so sorry i hope this isn't as loud as it is to me right now the construction along with things that i'm looking forward to wearing this spring summer i have some brands that i've collected that i want to talk about and share with you guys that i always go to for inspo outfit patterns like bell the label you know fancy club inspires me a lot with like outfit silhouettes and accessories and like color patterns and combos and all of that those are just two i do want to talk about some of my favorite so here are some of my favorite brands or brands like to watch right now people that inspire me a ton and Instagrams that I love etc. Let's dive in as I mentioned Belle the label I do own two pieces from them I own their black midi skirt and then their blue thick belt I'll put pictures of both of them here um, I will be styling the blue belt today I style it all the time I wear it all the time it elevates every outfit I shopped those two pieces when they were having their end of the year sale i believe and i really love their stuff their quality is really great I actually pulled from them for a shoot that ended up getting canceled so i was super bummed about it but i hopefully will work with them again and yeah because i want to style their pieces so bad they just have a really good eye for like silhouettes and texture and the way pieces move when they're on you like that black skirt is the way it moves and the way it's made there's so much volume it's such a great skirt and so i think they sell it in a midi and a mini and i love the pink color that they make petal i think is what it's called on the website i love the way they layered it over these capris these capris are amazing my friend tiz has them and they look so beyond on her and i want them so bad this dress i've seen a lot of people wearing which is so cute and that kind of like bubble skirt dress silhouette is on and popping right now i really love it i think it's so cute i love big chunky billowy skirts in the shoot that i did my last video with jade i bought this bubble skirt from a closet sale a while back and it's so fun like they're so malleable and you can kind of like shape them and it's super fun as like a stylist with layering and stuff position the skirt different and like fun poses where like the model's doing a little a little tooch and like the skirt's kind of poofed out i don't know it just gives the pose or the look so much attitude so like that bubble kind of silhouette is just so fun to play with very reminiscent of like a bustle kind of skirt and that silhouette i've always died for it's definitely possible to like thrift and find vintage ones for sure very easy trend to shop secondhand for bell the label just does it so well they do silhouette color quality really well and i love their stuff i could film an entire youtube video on madame morpho this brand it's roots it is so when i look at it that is exactly the aesthetic that i have always aspired to kind of have they're based in berlin i need to go to berlin like i don't know they're doing it like nobody else they do theatrical fashion in such an elevated way brand dna is so clear i love all of their shoots their layering all their styling all their creative on instagram their website their logo everything every part of it feels like i'm just like i just want to be a part of this i love what they do i love what they put out i love all their pieces their point pump just came out for pre-sale both of them are sold out all over the internet i saw that a ton but i feel like people don't give them their flowers for like their clothing and their accessories it's definitely expensive i wish i could afford them but for now just everything they do i just drool over and it's such an inspiration to me i really really want to like blow up this photo and frame it in a really cool vintage frame and put it in my room i just 
just want to do that. I want to be a part of that. I love their aesthetic, everything I've wanted and more. It's a perfect blend of like fun and playfulness, but also like sex appeal and sultry drama. It's so romantic. It's a little medieval and it's theatrical. It's just so well done. I mean, just like, are you kidding? It's everything I want and more. Their craft is so exceptional. Like you could just tell I've never touched their pieces, but Lord, do I want to. And then uh, when it comes to the H to T factor of like the head to toe of it all, the hair, the makeup, it always gives. And it's always like an all encompassing package of inspiration to me. Like it's like I'm saving it for hair, for makeup, for the entire outfit, for styling inspo, but for the entire piece as well, for shoot inspo. I wanna pull their pieces. I wanna like, I have no notes. They are everything and more to me. I wanna work with them. I wanna work for them, pick their brain. I'm like wearing jeans and a t-shirt right now, but like I've had all the money in the world. Like I would look like this right now. Like this is what I want to give every day. Their creative direction, everything. Everything I want to do and more. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. So that whole aesthetic is just like what I fixate on. That is how I want to dress. I have so many other components of my style that I love and I'm drawn towards, but like that feels like such a huge pillar of like what I love and what I want to do as well. So that in and of its own is like, that is my spring summer mood board. Like that's my life mood board. Another kind of, I'll just say pattern that I'm like loving and really drawn to is this stripe, but like thick stripe. When I watched my Susie, Susie Lola's spring trend video, I think it was. I'm gonna put it right here. It'll link in the description, duh. I think she called it candy cane stripe. I've heard people call it that. I remember styling this outfit when I modeled for Dana Foley when my friend Hadley was working there a little bit over a year ago. And this outfit, like, I was like, I need it. They weren't gifting me anything, but I was like, I want it, I need it, I'm obsessed. This stripe is so good, and I have one shirt that is this kind of thick stripe that I wear all the time, and I just feel like it's like, when I don't know what to wear, I put it on. It's one, it's so comfortable, I thrifted it. You can find this thick stripe, like, a lot of places, and it's this shirt, this outfit that I styled recently, I really liked. I'm gonna style that shirt today and do an outfit around that. Somebody that's doing it and doing it really well, and I think Susie mentioned them when she talked about stripes as well as a trend. For spring, summer, is Sinead Gorey. I'm gonna put, put their Instagram here. The stripe, the union jack, the drama, I love it all. Oh, they kind of did like a, a bubble skirt, or not even. What I was talking about in one of my other videos is like how I love thick bands on skirts like that, like that thick band. Mira Pale put out that like mini mini skirt. Sandy Lang was doing it as well. And my kind of like bubble skirt kind of does it where it's just like a thick band and then you get that kind of volume. I just love it. I think it looks so good. I love the silhouette of it all. This striped dress is really just simply everything to me. And these kinds of stripes I'm really obsessed with right now and I want to wear more of. Like what? Sorry this. Sorry this dress. No. Yeah, it's me in their comments like absolutely like all my hands and knees begging. This stripe is very nice as well. Stripes and polka dots, please. I'm addicted with them together. I'm styling them together in outfit. Two, I love polka dots. This is also doing the whole hood moment. Really loving tops with hoods on them. With a cool makeup look and hair look, a little like hood is just so cool. Especially with that stretchy kind of fabric where it drapes and it kind of like forms to the body in a really cool way. Sinead Gore is really, really inspiring me right now. I go to their page a ton. And then, okay, because I wrote Sinead Gore down, it reminded me of another Sinead that I have been chatting to. It's like a mutual of mine on Instagram and another creative and somebody that inspires me so much. She is a creative director. She's also based in Berlin. This is why I'm like, do I need to go like so fucking talented it's insane she works really closely with her friend Maria and she's kind of like Maria's muse Maria Yankovic I'm worried I'm pronouncing that wrong as well she is a designer both of them are creatives in the industry that I'm like watching out for like I'm ready for their takeover I believe in their work so much and their creative direction and their power as a duo this feels this feels big to me like when I see their work I'm like oh like no you're the next I don't even want to say because I don't even want to like compare or put them in a box, but like we need young new creatives, not even young, just new creatives. We need to be putting the spotlights on these people and these minds because everything is starting to feel so uninspired. I feel like a lot of people said this when Galliano put out the Margiela show with Pat McGrath's makeup. Like I feel like so many people resonated with that so much because fashion felt like it was 
the life was just sucked out of it. And I feel like what he did with that show was just like redefine himself. Obviously, Galeano is very controversial, but I don't think anybody can deny how incredibly talented and how much he's done for the industry. That show, I feel like really brought fashion back. And I know that inspired so many young creatives and designers. But when I see people like Marie and Sinead, like that is who I want to be blowing up. I'm addicted to them. And me and Sinead had like the best conversations back and forth through DMs, just talking about the industry and connecting and it was really great if you are needing some inspiration good lord do they have plenty of it and they're so incredibly talented so i highly recommend checking out their work and their pages and following them and keeping a fucking eye on them because they're gonna take over i swear to god another designer and brand very near and dear to my heart ben doctor i put Ben on this list as well because I want to talk about with the spring summer trends and things that I'm loving for spring summer is a lot of like mod silhouettes and that kind of like 60s quirky mixed with like a New York grunge which was exactly what Ben showed that was like his exact inspiration for it um Rotten Goodbye which I styled back um last September that whole experience was so inspiring to me but he's actually doing a few production runs of some of the pieces that we put on the runway and some of them being you know the stripes some of them the hot pant like I just I die over the shorts. I'm waiting for mine to come in. I can't wait to style them. I thought they were gonna be here for this video, but they're not, but that's totally fine. Some of the looks just really, really inspire me, like in my personal style and what I want to wear. The makeup, the hair as well, really inspired me. Like the classic mod A-line dress or kind of like shift silhouette. That style I'm loving whenever I'm in a vintage shop, I'm really looking for that. It's so fun to style. You can play with socks, shoes, the height of shoes, layering, the accessories, the bags, hats. Please, for the love of God, let's start wearing hats again. Mod 60s mixed with a little bit of grunge, mixed with kind of like a metamorpho with the stripe or the argyle or like vintage components that add some depth to it. It isn't like so on the nose mod, you know, kind of mixing those aesthetics a bit. Obsessed. Then I have a few knitwear crochet designers that I always go to for inspo. Nastia and Masha, I am obsessed, obsessed with all of their posts, their layering, their styling, how they approach social media and like post and like create content and fitting imagery really inspires me as a stylist too for like behind the scenes content and just like how I want to present looks and details. Like they're very detail oriented. I just love them. And then Mega Michaela, I'm obsessed with her work as well. If I went to Coachella this year, I just so would have tried to source pieces from her and like her chain mail. I'm obsessed. I love that kind of like medieval folklore fairy tale aesthetic right now and like making it modern a lot of designers are doing that and that's kind of their aesthetic and I love finding more people that do that and I think she's so talented at it yeah I think mixing that even with the the jester argyle vibe would just be crazy town um and I think that is what I would have done for a Coachella look for sure sorry somebody buzzed me mail's here Katya Zelensova I'm sorry if I butchered that London based knitwear designer like pull up their instagram look at their pieces the layering the colors the textures i'm addicted to them i'm so inspired by them this <gasps> no you guys me and my friend reina who's a photographer that i've worked with a bunch and vlog shoots and she's been on here a bunch we are obsessed and like send each other back and forth pictures from them like literally addicted no this this polka dot skirt what i would do for this polka dot skirt this is how i want to look all spring summer that's how I want to look all spring summer. The tights, the undies, the like, the bubble. Look at this bubble kind of tube. No, are you kidding? Literally every single one of their photos is on my saved. It's not okay. Vaquera is another brand that I'm like watching constantly. I'm addicted to everything they do. Oh my God, this look? No. Guys, this is fashion. This is it. This is where I want to be, this world. I need this for my wedding. Sorry. The sailor veil, guys. I need it so bad. Look at this dress. I need this to be my wedding look. What? Sailor core also, please. Everything they do, they inspire me so much. I'm obsessed with them. They're so playful and they have so much drama and I, the way they shoot their photos too, like. They're just really doing it for me. I find so much inspiration from them. Okay, those were like my big few. I don't know how many I just listed. The last few things that I want to mention before we get into the outfits. 
are just some like things that I'm loving for spring summer. They might be trends, they might not be trends. I got my color match actually yesterday at an Asian provocateur event. They had a brand come and do, you know, when they put your colors in front of you and tell you what your colors are and what flatters you. I did come with makeup on, you're supposed to be a bare face for it. And I came like after work, so I didn't know that. So it might've been a little different, but the woman told me I was a warm spring, so I have lean warm tones. I should be wearing gold jewelry over silver. Gold is maybe what I should lean towards, which I definitely do in the summer, especially with the tan. Spring was like very vibrant colors, but what she did say was she was like, disregard the, the the spring yellow she was like that does not look good on you which is so funny because my mom is always so specific with the yellow that she wears she's blonde and quite pale so yellow is like a tricky color and she was like your yellow color is butter yellow and i was like funny that you fucking say that because i love butter yellow everybody's talking about butter yellow it's so cute um but that was really fun polka dots as i mentioned candy cane thick stripe tops with hoods Addicted, mod silhouettes, 60s revival, vintage A-line dresses, love, X, NYC grunge. Okay, love a mini short, still love a bloomer, but love like a more like vintage, fun, playful, play on a bloomer or a short. My girlies from back home have a knitwear crochet Instagram called Crochet by Aunties, and my friends do such a good job. They're so fucking talented. I think it was Marley that made these shorts. These bloomers that she just made? So good. So I'm gonna style an outfit with crochet little shorts, the Frankie's bikinis little ones, because I don't have other little crochet mini shorts except I am commissioning my friends to make them because I need that right now, what the fuck? Okay, without further ado, I think we gotta get into these outfits because you guys know I can talk for literal ages. I'm really excited to really feel like I love my style again. I feel like winter, and I remember saying this in a video, like this winter I really wanna prioritize comfort and it is what I did but I feel like I got a little too comfortable I definitely like what I've been wearing but I don't love what I've been wearing really want to have fun with my outfits way more and like get extra a bit because it's just been so cold and I've just been like putting jackets over I'm making excuses for myself too I just feel like I've been in a little bit of an outfit rut and style rut I know what I love and I've loved it for ages I'm just like getting back to like what inspires me and how much fun I can have with my outfits and just really feel playful and excited and feel like myself. So that's the goal, playing with fashion and being a character and the drama of it all. And I just, I want to embody that again and bring it all back. If I'm being fully honest with you, like I have had meltdowns over it being like, oh my fucking God, like I'm so basic. Like I'm literally, <laughs> but it's not a bad thing to be basic or to wear a minimalist outfit or to like be cozy for however long. I just feel like what I love and what I do best, I it's kind of been tucked in beneath me throughout this fall winter and I've been working a lot and just I want to feel like my style and the content that I'm putting out and the photos and how I feel and when I get up in the morning when I put on an outfit, I want it to feel inspired. And it doesn't have to every single day, but I just want to focus on working towards that a bit more. Cause like brands like Madame Morpho, I'm like, when I see that, I'm like, I love that world and I want to be a part of it more. It really is like, when I found them, I'm like, this is the visual representation. This is, I want this. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm literally like, I want to get crazy again with fashion and then I'm, the outfit that I'm wearing is literally a t-shirt and jeans. But there's something about this photo that I really like. And like I said, I want to style the shirt in kind of a fun way or just a little bit elevated because I don't wear t-shirts a lot. So this is a basic outfit but we'll, we'll get funkier as we go. The first outfit, this photo I love. I don't know what about it. Just feels so good and chic and I love the pants tucked into the boots. I need boots like this, good God. But we're doing it with what I have and we're going from there. It inspired me because I really want to find a way to style the shirt. I, it might be her haircut that's like making it for me. Like I think, I just like, she just looks so cool. So I'm like, okay, let's try it. I feel like a lot of people are bringing back the clutch and I wanna get into it. Haley, whose videos I love, her outfit videos, I'm literally obsessed. I'll put her TikTok here. I'll see her like take bags and kind of like, I mean, imagine it's full and kind of like fold it and kind of carry it like this. Like it's like a little clutch. It doesn't really work with this. Okay. Here's my attempt at that. All my glasses are right now in Portugal at the Bootsy shoot. So I only have like a select few. Cool pair of sunnies and maybe some boots that aren't as like cowboy. You know what I mean? The top is from Beyonce.com, baby. Come on. Jeans are thrifted, boots, salvage angel. In Massachusetts, bags from the real real. Could do this bag with it. Imagining there's stuff in the back to kind of hold it up, like a little clutch. And then the boot. I think I like the other boots maybe more, but I like the height of these. I had those slouchy suede boots, bro. These are kind of the only brownish boots that 
to have. I feel like the glasses are cute. These ones are from Screaming Mimi's. I feel like if one's sunny would be so good with this too. I don't have mine. Let's try another variation maybe. This is kind of a cool vibe. Changed to a darker denim jean that had like a wider leg. So there's way more of a, way more of a scrunch, way more fabric. Did my same Salvage Angel boots. These pants are my Embrace K jean. Same real, real bag. And I like, I like this. Added this vintage belt with some of the brass detailing that matches the boots in the bag. Comfy cozy. And I think it'd be cool with no makeup and then like a red lip. You know, kind of like an unconventional makeup vibe. Like even like a deep kind of like vampy lip and like no mascara at least. Like I honestly think I might wear this this weekend. Like the dark denim is definitely better. Makes it a bit cooler. I think it'd be cool to do like have my little charm bracelet. But I think it's fun to add the gold as well. A little sunny would be cool. I have these big chunky glasses. I think it's a cool like weekend running errands vibe. I really wanted to style this shirt. And this bag was, or it's my mom's, but I'm borrowing it. And then the charm bracelet I got at the Hampton Flea. I'm also so beyond happy that this graphic is on the front of this t-shirt and not the back. Kieran and I always talk about that, how like everybody's merch and like brands and stuff. Put the coolest graphics on the back of the t-shirt. And I'm like, I want that on the t-shirt. I want to wear that. This could be another variation of it. Belt from 10 feet single and then these boots, which you guys know. These are my only pair of black boots. I always have to like style these. I think it's cool. Definitely the slouchy vibe that I wanted. Um, similar to the photo. They're just back when I had my first influencer brand collab, which was um, Indeed Nasty Gal. Do not support them anymore. Very, very different consumer ethics now. Got my priorities in order there, but I still wear them. I still think they're super cool and I'm not gonna throw them out. That's like the opposite of the point. They're just knockoffs of the Givenchy shark boot. I think I like the other one better though. This is a Mark Jacobs bag from The Real Real. And I just have my classic Dior sunnies that I was scared to give for the shoot. So I held on to them. These are from the Reformation on Ludlow with the vintage. Okay, last variation. Threw on these cowgirl boots, which I don't wear enough. And I thought they could be kind of cool. They have like a red heart on them. So I did my little Prada bag that I thrifted at the Times Vintage in Greenport in New York. And then this jersey I wore backwards. I want the four vibe and not so much the text. Just because I've been loving this vintage varsity, just like simple numbers vibe. Could do like the Arnett sunnies, kind of random. But bringing out the yellow. Maybe. I don't know. The sleeves were cut when I bought it. Random. I don't know. This is like one. I'm excited about this. Jeans and a t-shirt but a little bit more me. Okay, next outfit. For this outfit, I'm styling my vintage little like wrestling leotard, unitard moment. I've been seeing a bunch of fun vintage like play suits and things like that all over Pinterest and I love them and that's something that like if I see at a vintage store, I'm absolutely going to splurge on or at least try on. And I have this one and I don't wear it nearly enough and I think it'd be fun to layer it about. Don't wear it like out in New York just because it is so form fitting that I just, you know, creepy men, I'm kind of hating. The top definitely helps. This like underwear illusion is kind of fun to play with. I saw this like underwear and skirt kind of version of it that I thought was really cool. And I've been loving wearing with like sheer skirts. So it's fun to do it with like a top and then something under it. I don't know. The inverse is kind of fun. Definitely simple, but I think it's fun. Styling with my Union Jack rain boots because I thought that'd be kind of fun. I love styling these boots just like it's normal boots. They were from Buffalo Exchange but they're Hunter rain boots. Obviously vintage thrifted Leo. Um, this top is from Vivant Vintage as well. It has like a little lace up moment in the front and I think it's really fun. I don't wear this enough either so this is definitely a fun outfit reminding me to style all these pieces. I don't wear this bag enough either. I thrifted this as well. So random, but I think like the sporty is kind of cool with it. And I, I like the cross body of it all. I also think it'd be really good with my knee high white like boxing boots. I feel like that could be really cute. I'm into it. I don't know. Woo. These are with the knee high boots. I think this is also cool. Like high heel makes me feel a little bit like Patrick from SpongeBob when he's in those like thigh highs outfit. Two, next outfit. Next look, I knew I'd wanted to style polka dots and I had found while going through Pinterest, this photo of Sierra, Miss Sierra O'Day. I love her style and her personal style and everything she does. She styled this really cool like pinstripe or stripe dress shirt with like a polka dot skirt underneath or something. So I originally thought to style this with just this underneath, but then I thought to add my soap studio skirt under it to kind of create this little like 
boop boop shape. Um, the polka dot thing is a shirt. So it is like really bunchy right here. I don't know, I thought this was kind of fun. I just trust the styling process and went with it. I'm wearing it with my J. Crew little patent leather Mary Janes. The belt, the blouse, and the bag are all thrifted to match the pink, because I thought a pop of pink would be kind of fun. My Chloe pink glasses from the real real. I'm not sure about the belt, but I do like, like the shape of the belt buckle. Okay. Next outfit. Here's another little polka dot outfit moment. Kind of love this actually. I'm wearing a little cheetah print bra underneath and then I'm, I'm wearing my little circus ballet flat, Sam Edelman, and then I have polka dot little nylon socks. It came free actually with my J. Crew little Mary Janes, but I've never worn them. So I thought to throw them on with the polka dot to go double polka dot. I'm wearing this polka dot dress, hiked it up, and I'm wearing these little green vintage shorts that I got at Seven Wonders Vintage. And then my little Jacquemus Chiquito bag that I don't wear nearly enough, but I love it. It's just so cute and like little. Yeah, gatekeeping her in my closet. <laughs> but I need to bring her out more. The bra is vintage, got out of thrift store, same with the dress. It's definitely a bit more like summer, maybe than spring. So fun. This is the striped top that I really wanted to style. I wish I had this top in dress, pants, shorts, different colors. I love it. The way it's able to like ruche and go off the shoulder, it actually has a magnet that weighs it down so it creates the kind of like ruched neck. It's fabulous. I can check the brand for you guys, but I thrifted it for like really cheap. I'm wearing my Soap Studios dress underneath. I'm wearing it backwards though by accident. This is supposed to be the front. Full disclosure, I did put this on. My battery keeps dying, so then I filmed like my phone portion for my TikTok. Then I took it all off, started putting on the other outfit, and I realized I didn't film it for you guys. I also broke my tripod and almost broke my camera, and then almost had a meltdown. But here we are. Sometimes I'm like, but no, this is my favorite outfit. I love this outfit. I'm wearing my Jeffrey Campbell little like mule white heels. Just some black underwear, my Sub Studios dress, this top that I thrifted, my glasses from Zenny, my bag from Rose and Bull. And then the necklace is from Crafter Day, I think is how you say it. I'll put her Instagram here. It's so major, I literally love it. And I think it looks so cool with the stripes and everything. Gonna be sick to style with bikinis soon. I know I'm gonna love it. And I just think it's really simple. I could add so much more. I could do a chunky belt, whatever. Um, it looks really good with the ruffles in the front. Any like bold makeup look would be really dope with this as well. And I feel like this is the direction I want my style to go towards the spring summer for sure yay okay next outfit sierra who i mentioned earlier she in my mind i associate with the whole like baggy longer short with like a tall boot combo like here are some photos of her doing it i'm obsessed with these photos so i kind of tried to combine the two and like do a little outfit that's similar but i don't have black boots like that i guess i could do my slouchy ones from Nasty Gal, redacted. Um, but what I did do, a little like lace up kind of like Victorian shoe. And these I don't wear nearly enough. I love them. They're like not zipped up all the way because I use them for a shoot and had to tighten them for the model. So they do not fit my calf. This is like a vintage 90s bathing suit that I'm wearing underneath and I love it. These shorts are from Cotton and I'm obsessed with them. They're a sustainable brand as well, which I love and I'm so happy these shorts exist. They're the best. I was telling you guys when I was doing my, my closet clean now I wanted shorts just like this and the ones that I had were like these old golf shorts that I had thrifted and they don't really like fit that great and they kind of like billowed out weird but these are like perfect and they have the pleats and I love them and they have real good pockets as well. This type of hat for forever got out of the vintage store. Same with this bag. I love the little boots with it. I think it like makes it girly and plays off the kind of vintage pieces we've going on to make it so simple. Even like a flip flop little kitten heel, you know? Then that makes it like a bit more summery for sure, but has like a low back. I love in the spring summer wearing my one piece bathing suits as like vintage little leotards, body suits, etc. I think it's so fun. You get way more wear out of them. You're sweating them because they're waterproof. It's just really comfy and I love it. And they like suck you in and it just feels good. So yeah, I definitely want to collect some more vintage one pieces this summer and like two pieces, ideally like a cute little like thick boy short or like a tankini little vintage one. Oh, that'd be so cute. I would love long short and boots. I'm obsessed and we'll be wearing it for sure spring summer. Death. I don't know about this. Okay, maybe it's the bonnet, but let me take off the bonnet. I'm wearing my Frankie's bikinis little bikini. And I thought, you know how like there are a bunch of people that do graphics with bikinis on them? Like, I'm like, why don't we actually wear bikinis like over our t-shirts? Like maybe that could be kind of a vibe. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But I also don't hate it. So I'm a little bit like, 
something's happening here. These little lace capris are just tight that I cut there from Screaming Mimi's. I'm wearing this with my black heels that I literally like. Any outfit that I like don't know if I like, I put on these heels and they're, it's like immediately better. Bell the label belt. My bag's from Feminico on Depop. Then my little choker. There's like a part of me that really likes this. I feel like the yellow's throwing me. It's not my favorite. I really like the shorts with the gray t-shirt and the bra. Like I genuinely do. I understand that this is tapped. I know that, but I kind of like it. Okay, next outfit. This is that time when I'm trying to remake outfits and I just don't have the pieces to remake it. And it's just like a little forced. <laughs> like it's just not happening. But this outfit I really love, a monochrome like knit look. I love, so I wanted to like try to emulate it. Guys, please. The top and like the kind of vibe of the outfit that I found inspo from gave me this top. I love this top. Thrifted this and it has like little flowers where like your nipples would be, except they're like so much higher than like where my actual nipples are, but I love it. Hat and scarf thrifted or Depop. And I put on the hat that they put on the bag and I thought it could maybe be kind of, kind of cool. I don't know. It's not that I don't like it, but I don't love it either. I wish the shirt wasn't so cropped. Which was longer. This shirt was a dress. This outfit has definitely inspired me to style this top again though. I love it. And it's really cute with the skirt. The skirt's just too low waisted for it. And I'm not into showing that much midriff at this time. Rose and bowl bag again. Belts are thrifted. This skirt's thrifted. This skirt's thrifted. This top's thrifted. My shoes are Steve Madden bought on Depop. Okay, last outfit. Okay, last look. Wish I had my glasses with me. Although way more colorful. Tried to pull a little inspo from Metamorpho and do also a the little bubble. These are bloomers from Rose of the Label. They're my favorite. You can alter them in so many ways. Belt is thrifted from Second Street Vintage. It's my Union Jack belt. Needed a cinch moment. Then I pulled out the kind of like tan leather in the bag, adding more plaid. Big Burberry bag thrifted. Dress thrifted as well. Definitely would do a really fun makeup and hair look with this. Have my vintage Escada red heels with it. And I'll go out in this, I'll go dancing with friends. I love this outfit. I'm ready to hit the town. Spring moment. If you get cold, you can let the dress down, babe. Ain't no thing. But we love a long sleeve and short vibe for spring. Or a long pant and short sleeve. That's kind of a spring MO. End it with bang. I'm gonna try to fix my tripod now, but I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in next week's vid. I love ya. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you're excited to wear for spring, summer, this season. Over and out. I love you. Sending you all my love. Have a great, great, great week. Bye.